Some say that the age of chivalry is past, that the sport of romance is dead. The age of chivalry is never past. Quote by Charles Kingsley. A gentleman is more than a man that dresses in nice clothing. If I can help you to understand anything, I hope you remember that fact. The life of a gentleman is a true way of life. It is how you carry yourself, your mental state, and how you treat women and others. You can be the best dressed man in the room, but without good manners, you won't be a true gentleman. In today's society, many view manners as old fashioned. Some feel that if you are polite, then you are weak. That way of thinking is incorrect on so many levels. The true measure of a man is how much he respects himself. In order to respect yourself, you have to respect others. Let's take a look at some of the basics, which are good reminders for all of us. Please, thank you, and excuse me. These are simple phrases that will take you a long way in life. I teach these phrases to my own children and won't let them get away with not using them. No one should be able to get away with not using them. Another nice touch is the use of sir or ma'am. If you're in the military, there is no escaping it, but civilians can use such words too. They impress people who hear them and in turn open doors for you. I'm serious about this. You will see the benefits in time. I'll tell you a story about my own life and how I came to use sir and ma'am. When I was a young man, my father used to be pretty strict on my brother and I. I appreciate it now, but not so much at the time. Anyway, when dad would get really serious about something, he'd ask the question, do you understand me? We'd say, yes. And then he'd ask, yes, what? We'd respond, nearly barking out in military style, yes, sir. Behind dad's back, my brother and I would laugh about the whole sir thing. That type of speech was viewed as dramatic and irrelevant at the time. It did let us know dad was serious with us, but as kids, we thought it was overkill. Now that I'm older, in serious situations like business meetings, job interviews, or other times, I will find myself using sir or ma'am when appropriate. I tell you this because it impresses upon others that you take them serious as well as the situation. Using sir or ma'am also calms people down if they are becoming agitated with you. I use this technique to deflect rude behavior towards me. Excuse me is another powerful phrase. It shows courtesy towards others. You should say excuse me when you accidentally brush into someone or if you need to leave the room or a table. Open doors. Don't be shy about holding open the door for others. If someone is behind you, Pause for a second and hold the door open. If you are unsure whether or not they'd like you to hold the door, politely ask the person if they'd like assistance. You can do this by asking, may I hold the door for you? By doing this, you put the ball in their court. They will have the opportunity to accept or decline the offer. Get up. If you are traveling on public transportation, say a bus or train, be observant. I'm not talking about watching for pickpockets, but you can do that too. If the seating is crowded and you notice someone struggling to stay on their feet, say an elderly person, pregnant woman, or any female passenger, you can offer them your seat. It doesn't have to be awkward. You can just say, please have my seat. I'm more than happy to stand. Your kind gesture will speak volumes. If they refuse, you will have offered, and you can simply say, please let me know if you change your mind. It's no problem. 
Imagine how they'll smile at you and be impressed. Others will observe and nod their heads in respect, thinking silently, what a gentleman. She's a lady. There are ways in which a woman should be treated. A gentleman should know these rules, if you will. If you use these, the lady in your life will be impressed. Too many men these days are disrespectful towards women and use derogatory names to describe them or even when speaking to them. This is no way to behave. Hold the door open for her. This should be reflex, not something a man does or has to think hard about before doing it. Sadly, it is more of the latter these days. It is a small gesture, but watch the way she smiles and feels grateful that someone thinks she's worth it. If you're picking her up, open the car door. If you're picking her up and she's waiting for you at the curb when you pull up, you should still at least open the door from the inside. You don't need to get out and open her door when dropping her off at home, but a classy man would do just that. Bonus points, anyone? Help her out. There is something very distinguished about a man who takes the time to help a woman onto a train, bus, or transportation. It can be as simple as giving her a hand up or it can be more intimate. The more suave way would be to try placing your hand on the small of her back and supporting her as she climbs the steps. Helping a lady with a chair is a courteous thing to do. It's a romantic act that says you care and it provides an opportunity for physical contact. All you have to do is pull her chair out and hold it while she sits down. It's that simple. I'll admit, on a first date, this can be kind of awkward. If you chicken out, I mean, if you use caution, then just wait until she's seated before you sit down yourself. If you see a lady struggling with a heavy object, help her out. There's no need to make a big deal about it. You don't have to tell her how strong you are. Just be nice and help. Stand and wait. Gentlemen should stand when an elderly person, a woman, or a very important person enters or leaves a room. It's not weak. It's called good manners. This is true especially with women. When a woman approaches your dinner table, you should stand as well. It is a sign of honor. Yes, you read that right. And no, I'm not from the 1800s. I'm trying to live by the gentleman's code. Are you? If you happen to encounter a revolving door when you are walking with a woman, you should enter it first so that you may push the door for her. Do not push it very fast. Just take your time as in all things with a lady. Also, let the woman precede you when you are taking seats at a restaurant, concert, or movie theater. Let her lead the way. Displaying manners is never going out of style. You can impress others, but that's not why you should use them. Use manners because it is what a gentleman should always do.